Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and today I've got something really cool to review for you guys. Now, you know in the past, I've done reviews on things that I've purchased over at My Medic, like tourniquets and med kits, things like that. Well, My Medic actually contacted me. They have something they wanted me to review, and when I got my hands on this thing, I was really impressed. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the My Medic 10 Essentials Kit. This entire thing, which is filled pretty much top to bottom, are the 10 essentials of survival, including medical, shelter, food, water, purification, tools, I mean, all sorts of stuff. This kit is completely loaded. So this kit was put together by my medic, and it was also put together uh, in coordination with a Green Beret medic and the U.S. Forestry Service. So this is a really cool kit. Basically, again, like I was saying, the 10 essentials of survival in this one bag right here. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take everything out, we're gonna take a look at it and see what you get in the My Medic 10 Essentials Kit. If you guys are interested in this, there'll be a link down below. Okay, so before we dig into this thing so I can show you guys all the different stuff that it comes with, and there's a lot, over a hundred pieces, let me go ahead and talk to you guys about the pack real quick. So this pack is actually waterproof. As a matter of fact, it has this little valve at the bottom right here, and with that valve closed, you can use this thing as a flotation device. Uh, I'll roll in a picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but you can use this as a flotation device. Uh, it has a roll top to it, so you simply roll it down. I'll show you guys a little bit more about that here in a minute. You roll this down, you clip it, it's got a sep separate handle in the middle right here you can go ahead and close that valve and use this as a flotation device to swim so it is completely waterproof it has pouches on the side so if you want to add additional bottles of water you want to add a tourniquet maybe a, a cat tq or something like that you can do that with this kit it's got another pouch on this side right here it's got a zipper pocket in the front of the pouch right here it also has the uh, red cross that you can see to let people know that there is medical equipment on the inside of this kit right here and uh, it is a very nice pouch it's got two uh, shoulder straps that are padded in the back and it also has padded ribs down each side which allows for ventilation in the center right here so it's very comfortable very uh, easy to wear and it also has the uh, crossbody strap as well so your sternum strap so this thing is uh, gonna be a secure pack to carry with you if you're gonna be hiking camping hunting you know doing whatever you do uh, where you feel like you might need some of the contents or could potentially need some of the contents of this simply throw this on your back it's fairly lightweight I believe this entire kit weighs just around seven pounds so it's really not all that bad so with that being said, let's go ahead and dig into this thing. So like I was saying, it has a roll top on it. We'll go ahead and we'll unclip this, roll it up, and I'll disappear here. But uh, once you open it up, you can see, pretty tall bag, right? Pull that top open, and it allows you access to all the stuff that's inside. Cool thing about all the stuff that's inside here, instead of just... So, and I'm guilty of this, just like with my bug out bag and my survival bags and stuff, I throw a bunch of stuff in there, and it all kind of, you know gets lost in the shuffle, right? What they did with this is they actually have each of the 10 essential survival items packaged individually so that nothing is just floating around by itself. So we just reach in and we grab one. Each one is going to be like this. So you have your items. This one is water and food. Okay, so everything that you need for water and food is gonna be located right in here, including a life straw. So what we can do now is we'll go ahead and we'll take these individual pouches to the table. We'll open them up and I'll show you guys what's inside each one. But uh, it's, it's a very organized pack. It's not just a bunch of stuff thrown inside. Okay, so let's go and take a look at our first pouch. Now, each pouch is labeled with what essential items it has inside. So this one's gonna be navigation, light source, and fire. They are Ziploc style, so they're resealable. Once you use things, you can put things back in place so that you can keep everything in order. But uh, you also have a list of all the stuff that's gonna be inside here. So let's go ahead and open this one up and see what we have in our navigation, light source, and fire. So first thing that we have in the bag here is going to be a compass. Uh, obviously, a compass is going to be very, very important for navigating. And this actually looks like a pretty decent compass. So we'll go ahead and we'll open this thing up here. You have a mirror that's located on this side right here. There is our compass. And again, uh, a compass is a very important item to have. Uh, just like most people will tell you, if you continue to walk, 
you will walk in circles eventually. So trying to keep yourself pointed in the same direction is gonna be important. So we have a compass right there, which is pretty nice. The next thing that we have inside here are gonna be uh, waterproof matches. So we have waterproof matches inside a waterproof container uh, that does have a strike surface on the side. So you can see right there, we have a bunch of different uh, waterproof matches. And then we have our striker on the side, which is going to help you make fire. Fire is extremely important. Not only is fire good for warmth, but fire is also good for, uh, you know, boiling water, cooking food, sterilizing things. Uh, fire is extremely important. So we have something for fire right there. Uh, the next thing that we have in the kit here, it looks like a hand warmer. No, this is a fire starter. Okay, so basically what this is, it's very, very light tinder. So basically you take this stuff, you put it on some twigs, you know, small branches, anything you want to uh, set on fire, and then you go ahead and you light this kindling right here, and this will help you get your fire started. So you got your matches, your waterproof matches, and you got your kindling, our navigation right there. The next item that we have in the bag here is going to be some more of the same. So again, once you use this stuff, you get a little bit extra right there. That's also nice. We have a light stick or a chem stick, however you want to call it. Uh, this basically is a light stick that I believe will last something like six hours. Let me see if it actually says on the packaging here how long this will last. But uh, these last for a significant amount of time. So yeah, I don't, I don't see anywhere where it says how long this thing will actually glow. But light sticks are a great light source to not only a get a little bit of ambient light so you can see where you're going and stuff, but they're a great way to mark things. So if you have to leave your camp in the night and you don't want to get lost making it back to camp, you can always hang this from a tree or hang it from a post somewhere central where you can actually see it high enough where you can navigate back to your campsite. The next thing that we have in this bag right here is going to be a headlamp. Uh, we have a headlamp right here. This is a solar headlamp. As a matter of fact, I'll put a link to a video down below uh, from my medic where they take some of these things out and actually use them. So this thing actually has a solar charger which is located just above the actual uh, lens itself. So basically you would flip it down, has a solar charger on it, and you don't have to worry about batteries with this thing, which is fantastic because obviously once the batteries run out, this thing would be totally useless. So the fact that it's solar powered, I think is pretty cool. So again, we have navigation, we have fire, and we have light. Now with the headlamp, I should also mention that not only is it uh, chargeable through solar and solar panels, but it's also USB rechargeable. So if you do have a way to charge via USB while you're out, here's your headband, here is the USB cord that comes with it. Okay, so here's our medical and tool kit. Now try and keep in mind that you can always expand on everything that's in here. So if you wanna add your own tourniquets, you want to add your own equipment, you can always do that. Obviously, there's extra space and extra pouches uh, in that bag. So you can always add what you want, but this will definitely get you through. So let's go ahead and open up the, uh, the medical and tool stuff and see what is inside here. So the first thing that we have here is going to be our hiker medic. So this is your little med pack. So if you guys have ever been over to my medic, uh, their website, they have a bunch of different packs that you can buy and they're pre-packaged packs for different things. So there's like a stop the bleed pack. There's a first aid kit. There's, you know, all sorts of different packs that you can buy. So you can actually buy things like these big pouches here individually over there. Not maybe not these exact ones, but you can buy different pouches to fit different medical needs, different survival needs and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and open up this and I'll show you guys what's inside the uh, hiker medic kit. Okay, so I went ahead and I dumped out the Hiker Medic Kit to show you guys what's inside here. So inside this kit, we have a lot of our basic essentials, right? So we have gauze pads. We have a couple large gauze pads right here. We have what looks to be some like large band-aids, pretty, pretty big band-aids right there. Uh, we also have things like, you know, your pills, your ibuprofen, diphen. We have, uh, you know, a bunch of different stuff like that. You know, your painkillers and stuff, right? We also have burn cream. There is alcohol prep pads, uh, more burn cream. What is this right here? This is going to be, uh, let's see, some type of lotion. This looks like it might be for bug bites and stings and things like that. Uh, and actually, here is your sting relief right here. More burn cream. This is gonna be lip balm. So we have all of that. We have more Band-Aids in different sizes. 
We have some super skin right here. We also have a space blanket and these things actually work. So we have a space blanket there. We have an emergency whistle. So if you get injured and you're trying to be found, uh, a whistle, things like that, mirrors, use the mirror on your compass to signal. Uh, that's a good thing to have. And then we also have some red paracord. So in that little bag, we have basic essentials right there. So the next thing we have in the pouch here is going to be a uh, compression bandage. So compression bandages are great to have around. They can be used for a lot of different things. But if you need to put pressure on something, you could apply some gauze underneath this and then wrap it around nice and tight and uh, you know keep pressure on something. So you do have that compression bandage right there. The next thing we have is going to be the massive wet wipe. This thing's crazy. So actually, I, I saw this. So I don't want to open this one up because uh, it might start drying at that point. But this is a huge, basically, cleaning cloth. And this is going to help you stay clean while you're out there. So it's almost like, uh, you know, when you just want to wipe your kid's face down or something like that, you, you know, you grab a wet wipe and you clean all the Cheetos off their hands and face. This is like a giant one of those, except you can use this and clean your entire body uh, without using any of your precious water that you might need for drinking. You want to save all that. So you got that in there as well. Next thing that we have in our kit is going to be another space blanket, uh, which is good. If this thing ends up getting uh, destroyed or lost, you have another space blanket, or if you have a second person with you. Uh, the next thing that we have in here is going to be some super tape. So super tape is basically like a really, really, really strong duct tape. Uh, you can actually use super tape for, uh, let's say you want to apply a small uh, splint or something like that, you can use this super tape in order to hold that splint in place. You can use this to apply gauze. You can use it uh, as a bandage. I mean, you can use this for a lot of different stuff. So we have uh, two rolls of super tape in there. And the uh, next thing that we have, let's see, there's two different, two more things still in this package right here. The next thing is going to be this uh, first aid and survival handbook. And this is kind of a, a you know, an important resource to have. So if you don't know how to do something, you know, don't guess. That's the last thing you want to do. Don't guess. You can look in here and find a lot of answers to, you know, your basic questions uh, on survival and, you know, minor treating minor medical things. So uh, you get that as well. And then when it comes to the tools, because remember it was medical and tools, uh, we also have a multi-tool. Okay, so here's a closer look at our multi-tool. I went ahead and opened everything up so you guys can see the tools and we could save some time here. But uh, this is a very nice, big, robust multi-tool. It's not a small, dinky multi-tool. It's actually spring-loaded, so it has spring-loaded open and close. On this side, we have a large flathead, a small flathead. We also have a serrated knife. On this side, we have scissors, actual working scissors. And then we have a non-serrated knife. We have a large uh, Phillips. And we also have a can opener. Now with this, you can also use these bits right here. So it comes with these bits and these bits are actually pretty nice because what you do is you use this socket right here. You put the socket on the multi-tool and then each one of these bits will fit inside the socket. So you have a large flat, large flathead, small flathead, uh, Phillips, and you also have uh, hex heads on there as well. So let me go ahead and close this thing up real quick and do it in a way where I'm not hurting myself. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and close this thing up so I can show you guys uh, the actual multi-tool here because obviously the pliers are going to be very important as well. And like I said before, it is spring-loaded, so you're not fighting to open this thing back up every single time you use it. And then, of course, just like a typical multi-tool, uh, it closes nice and compact. And it feels like a pretty good multi-tool. It's got the MyMedic logo on it and everything else. So a uh, pretty decent little tool there. Now, this kit just keeps going and going. It's amazing how much stuff you get in this kit, but we're going to keep opening packs. Uh, we have two more packs left, including this one right here. This one is going to be sun protection, shelter, and clothes. So let's see what comes in this one. Okay, so let's go and start off by taking a look at the first two things that I pulled out here. These are obviously going to fall under clothes. But the first thing we have are going to be these rubber coated gloves. So basically it's a cotton glove that has been coated in a very, very grippy rubber. Obviously, if you're talking about survival, visibility is going to be you know very important. So we have this bright orange right there. And then the base of the hand is going to be this black material that is extremely grippy. So it's going to allow you to hold on to things that are even wet or slippery and also keep your hand warm because, again, it's made out of a very nice thick cotton material. But on the inside, if you guys can see that, it's got this very nice kind of fluffy cotton. So it's a very comfortable glove that's going to allow you to not only keep your hands warm, but also be able to hang on to things without injuring yourself. Because if you injure your fingers or your hands, 
hands, uh, you're kind of done. You definitely gonna need those. The next thing that I grabbed out of there was this uh, MyMedic beanie. And it's actually a pretty nice beanie. It feels very thick. And uh, this material right here, even though you can't tell, uh, is actually a reflective material. So if light gets shined at this, and I don't know if I can show this on camera or not. Let me take out my EDC light here. But if you shine your light at this, it will, that's too much light, it will reflect back. Um, I, I can't show you. Okay, basically what it is, it's like when you see somebody that's riding a bike and they have those reflective strips on a shirt or something. That's what this is like. So it reflects back all of that light. So if you're trying to be spotted, uh, you can use this and get rescued. But if you don't want to use that, if you want to be a little bit more covert and less findable, all you have to do is simply flip this thing inside out and it is a nice black material on the outside. It's also very, very comfortable feeling material as well. So you have that reversible beanie and you also get the gloves. So we'll set that to the side there. Now the next thing we have here is going to be basically a poncho, okay? So uh, emergency poncho, just to keep yourself dry. You don't want to get, you know, too wet. You don't, uh, you know, you want to basically keep yourself nice and dry. You want to keep your clothes dry. You want to stay comfortable. So you're going to get that poncho right there. Uh, let's see. The next thing we have in here is actually going to be a pair of sunglasses, believe it or not. So uh, nice pair of sunglasses. I've seen these before I opened them. I've pretty much seen everything in this kit before I had a chance to open it. So I understood what I was kind of getting into here. But you do get a pair of sunglasses. And if I can find the open side, I will take these out for you. So here are the UV protectant sunglasses right there. Uh, they're actually pretty nice sunglasses. They're fairly lightweight, but these will definitely work in a pinch. Keep the uh, UV out of your eyes and also just, you know, help you navigate better, kind of keep that sun out of your eyes. So you do get those sunglasses right there. Let's set those to the side. What else do we have in here? Okay, so this is one of the coolest things. You actually get a pair of dry socks, and I'm not going to take them out of this bag right here because this helps keep moisture off of them, but uh, you get a pair of nice dry socks, and I'm sure a lot of you guys who have been in the military can attest to how nice a nice dry pair of socks can be. Uh, I've heard a lot of stories about you know <laughs> having a pair of dry socks and where you can keep them, but I'm telling you right now, if your boots or your shoes uh, end up getting wet and your socks are sitting there soaking wet, uh, it can lead to some really bad things. So keeping your feet dry is really important. And uh, we have a pair of socks right there. Uh, the next thing I believe this is, yeah, this is going to be basically your bivy. It's called a super, super bivy. It's the MyMedic super bivy. And basically it's like a portable sleeping bag. Uh, I don't know if I can get this image on camera right there because of my lighting in here. Let's see, maybe if I rotate it, but you can see what it looks like right there. It's basically just a very small portable sleeping bag. So you can take this thing out, it comes in its you know own little pouch all wrapped up right there. Well, actually, it's got this band around it. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just a, an emergency sleeping bag. So if you wanted to, you can actually take the sleeping bag and you could take one of your space blankets, get inside of that, and then you know drag yourself inside this for even extra insulation. But an emergency sleeping bag right there. And then it looks like this is going to be our last item, which is going to be the MyMedic hand warmers. So uh, hand warmers going to be perfect. If it's freezing cold outside, you're trying to stay alive or something like that. All you have to do is take these hand warmers, put them inside your gloves, and you have nice, toasty, warm hands. Okay, so here is our last pack right here, and this is one of the most important packs. This is going to be your food and water. Now, try and keep in mind that a person can stay alive for a lot longer without food than they can without water, and shelter is also very important. I, I live in a very hot climate, and exposure can be bad, so you want to make sure that you have you know, your fire, your shelter, your food, your water, but water is going to be one of the more important ones. Going uh, just a few days without water can end you right there. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and uh, see what is inside. So the first thing we have here is going to be a water pouch. Uh, this looks like it says it's approved by the Coast Guard. So we have one of those. So we've got another water pouch. And remember, you guys can actually use the uh, electrolytes in this as well to just kind of add to it. And we have another water pouch and another water pouch. And it looks like that's it for water pouches. So we have a total of four pouches of water right there. Let's go ahead and slide these slightly out of the way and grab the next thing that we have in here. 
And what is this? Okay, this is the life straw. So if you guys have ever seen videos on survival and stuff, you've probably seen a lot of reviews of the life straw. The life straw is actually a really cool item. I'm gonna keep this one in the bag so that I can use it. But uh, the life straw, basically what you can do with this is you can drink directly from terrible water. Uh, and it's going to filter out pretty much everything. Um, and uh, it's got a list of all the stuff here. Let me see if I can read this real quick. So it removes 99.9999999% of bacteria. It actually says that. It removes 99.999% of uh, protozoa. And then filters out 4,000 liters or 1,000 gallons. Wow, 1,000 gallons this life straw can filter. That is ridiculous. Meets US EPA standards for drinking water. So basically what you do is that you open up the top and you open up the bottom you stick it into a water source whether it be you know a cup a jar or even moving water or even stagnant water you could take this thing right here put it in the water make sure you don't get any water on the the you know the mouth area but uh you go ahead and you put this into that water source and you can drink straight from that crappy water so if it's water that looks like you just wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole you could probably still drink it with this life water right here and in a life-saving emergency and water being so important that is a really nice thing to have so we have the life straw uh let's see what we got in here so the next thing that we have in here uh is pretty cool this is actually a collapsible water bottle so as you can see if you need if you find a water source and you want to be able to bring that water source with you you have this collapsible water bottle it's actually got a pretty nice mouth on it pretty nice spout on it and you fill this thing up basically unscrew the top of it and then uh, fill this thing with water screw the top back on and you could bring you know a decent amount of water with you okay so i went ahead and i opened up that collapsible water bottle i wanted to show this to you guys so again the way that this works is you simply unscrew the top right here and then you fill this thing up with water and then when you put the top back on you screw this thing down it actually has a uh, a small carabiner on it right there so you can go ahead and you can attach this to your gear carry it on a pack hang it from a string uh, you can go ahead and drag this down a river in order to get some stuff filled into it uh, it's got a pretty nice spout on it as well so you can see where a little water droplet is right there just go ahead and pull up on that and it gives you a, a, a way to be able to drink the water so that's a pretty cool little uh, collapsible bottle now the next thing that's in the kit are going to be these aqua tabs so if you find water you don't have a way to filter water and you want to make sure that that water is purified you can take these tabs you can put it in one of these pouches or in that bottle right there let that tab dissolve and when the tab dissolves it will purify your water so we have uh, a couple water purification tablets right there the next thing is going to be food so we basically have some high protein emergency food rations right here. They're high protein, high calorie, high vitamins, high fat. That's pretty much what you're getting out of this. And those are the things that you want. You want those calories, you want that protein so you can stay strong, you can stay moving. You want the, the, the high fat content in there, obviously. And this one right here is just basically like a giant brick. You can see that there's actually three bars in here. Uh, so you have three bars of emergency food rations. And then you have this one right here, which is going to be, uh, looks like a coconut. So uh, it actually looks like you have pretty much plenty of food. Again, you know, food lasts for a lot longer. You take this and you ration this stuff out while, you know, while you're out there and you have enough food to last because we can last for a long time. Essentially, your body will just start dissolving its own body fat uh, in order to sustain itself. So you can last a lot longer with, uh, without food than you can without water. So we have a lot of different ways to purify and use water right here. And then we have uh, our food ration. So that is our entire kit from my medic. And there is, like I said, a lot of stuff in this kit. I do apologize if this video ran long, but like I said, there's over a hundred pieces here uh, for you to use both, you know, everything from shelter to clothing to medical. I mean, you saw sunglasses, multi-tools, gloves, beanies, uh, ponchos, medical equipment and stuff like that. Obviously, like I was saying before, you can always add to your kit. Um, I always add, you know, a tourniquet, splint, things like that to, uh, you know, to kind of add on to my kits. But you can add whatever you want to kind of customize it out. This gives you all of the essentials that you need. Again, something that was put together by Green Beret Medic and by the U.S. Forestry Service and my medic. So it, this is an awesome, awesome kit. Definitely worth checking out. Again, the link's going to be down below. But the My Medic 10 Essentials Kit, check it out. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.